हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय सेल्फ एस के जे यूर वॉचिंग सर्वेइंग सिविल इंजीनियरिंग टुडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो द लोड बेरिंग स्ट्रक्चर अबाउ दैट हाउ वी कंस्ट्रक्टेड द फ्रेम स्ट्रक्चर सो हियर वी कैन सी द टॉप ऑफ द बिल्डिंग विच इज़ फ्रेम स्ट्रक्चर वी हैव जस्ट प्रोवाइडेड कॉलम्स एंड बीम्स एंड वी कंस्ट्रक्टेड ओवर द लोड बेरिंग स्ट्रक्चर एंड दिस इज ऑलमोस्ट गेटिंग ओवर सो हियर यू कैन सी दिस and uh, the left left hand side building is meant for complex commercial purpose and uh, the right hand side it is totally belongs to residential building and most of the viewers asked me regarding the plinth beam so here in this today's video i'm going to show we have just provided the link plinth beam here so here you can see so this is the plinth beam what we is totally externally which is provided the plinth beam which is connecting to the all the columns so this is the plinth beam what so we here you can see so this is uh, this is the plinth beam so this one is the plinth beam so here uh, i will tell you what is the purpose of uh, providing the plinth beam here so the main purpose of the plinth beam is the plinth beam which connects all the columns and it will act as a belt to the structure and also the sinking of the structure due to the earthquake or due to the uh, rain water it won't uh, get disturbed and it won't sink at all so that is the beauty of uh, putting the plinth beam so here uh, you can see this plinth beam we are just provided and here you can see the uh, load bearing structure here you can see this is the column which is connected with the load bearing structure and which is projected upwards i will show you the walk through how we have just prepared this structure so you might be seen my previous video so is it necessary to provide plinth beam at the bottom so my answer is uh, yes you need to provide and if you are not providing plinth beam that is also fine but above the plinth beam is there any wall is coming so there you must and should provide plinth beam so that is the conclude conclusion what i mention here so providing the plinth beam or not because in future uh, we going to demolish this uh, load bearing structure and making it as a, a parking space so that is the purpose we are just provided this plinth beam so later uh, we can uh, convert that uh, into the uh, parking by demolishing this load bearing structure and here you can see the plinth beam why we have provided this plinth beam because uh, uh, so we going to provide the partition walls so that is the purpose why we are just provided this plinth beam if you are not uh, having any partition wall or something like that so you may not uh, need the plinth beam here because uh, above the uh, uh, column you can see the beams are which is connected so that uh, it will get safer side if you are providing the beams so beam is only meant for uh, if your wall going to construct above that so below that you need to have one beam so that thing you need to keep it in your mind before putting any beam anywhere in the construction site 
so here you can see wherever the walls are coming below that only we have just provided the beams and this is the duplex building so this is the entrance and this is uh, going to be a guest room it is almost getting finishing and here you can see this is the hall so this is as i mentioned this is duplex building so this is the hall so this is the hall and here uh, we going to have our television and here is the another one bedroom and here you can see this is uh, the dining room so this is the dining room and here this is the kitchen this one is the kitchen so this is uh, another one month uh, it going to be finish and later after finishing i will put the video how the finishing work you going to have so this is the common toilet and uh, here we going to have a uh, wash basin here so here we going to have a, a wardrobe this space and here we going to have the master bedroom so this is the toilet area and this is the dressing room here you can see how nicely we going to have the view here in the duplex building so about that uh, this is uh, the work place so all the work uh, office work whatever the things are there so here we going to work it here in this area and also for uh, for making up any tea coffee snacks for that purpose we just provided this thing as a mini kitchen and here is the another one master bedroom so same here is a dressing room and this one is bathroom see if you come outside you will find like this so this is the passage as a gallery for this room so this is how we are getting here uh, so you can see so another one big room we going to have it here you can so this is uh, the another bedroom so for this uh, this is uh, the bathroom and here we have provided this bathtub it has to be clean properly
so here is our view so in front you can see this uh, ground cricket ground as well as football ground so by standing here you can watch everything whatever the sports activity is going over here so this is uh, in the front there is a uh, university area so in that uh, this ground is located so the big buildings what you are watching that is ESI building ESI hospital so here you can see so this all columns which is coming from uh, the bottom and which is connected with the load bearing structure Here you can see this is uh, our puja room. So this is the puja room. So next month I will put another one video after getting all colored when it's going to be look perfect. So in that view I will uh, put the video so here you can see this is how we're going to see from the top so most of the viewers they are scared about uh, uh, converting their load bearing structure into the frame structure how it going to be withstand so nothing to worry about so this is one another one technique what we have just constructed here so here you can see almost three floors we've been constructed above the load bearing structure by providing frame structure Here you can see the, the total area of the building. So you just imagine how much big area we have been constructed above the load bearing structure and that to three floors. So about this third floor we just constructed this uh, penthouse. So it will be as a small bedroom at the third floor. So this is the attached bathroom. So here uh, you have uh, two doors from outside and from inside. This is the bathroom for the penthouse. Yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, if you are having any queries regarding, let me know in the comment box below. And see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, and please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.